watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Today we have an old timer up for review. Comes in this packaging here. It's the Gunstock 94 OTW. Now this was sent along by American Outdoor Brand, so I want to thank them for sending this in for review. And I want to let you guys know that that will not affect my opinion. I will give an honest assessment of this knife. But we have a few little specs here on this. I'll just read these off. Now it says stainless steel blades, but those are supposedly 7CR17 mob. They haven't really specified for quite a while what their blade steel is, but that's what they were when they did still tell you. So I'm assuming they haven't changed that. Now we've got a 3 inch clip point blade and a 3 inch spay blade. Desert ironwood handles on the OTW version, just the wood version of the 94 OT. And nickel silver bolsters, pins, and the shield. We'll all look at that. There's some look at the back with specifications. You can pause that and read it if you like. But here we are. We're looking at the three and three quarter inch handle length on this trapper. A little smaller than the standard style trapper, but very, very close. It's a good size. Uh, I believe RJ spoke about that a little bit. Um, it's probably just a little more convenient for EDC being in this size. Just about a quarter inch difference or maybe a half inch difference. So uh, not a full size, full size trapper, but it is pretty close. But on this particular one, we have the nickel silver bolsters and brass pins, nickel silver shield. Now this is the new one they're using now, the hexagonal shape. It says old timer on it and then has a picture of a sharp finger on the top and then established 1958. So the pins and bolsters are smooth shield is well inlaid no complaints at all on the the quality of the handle and the application everything seems very smooth on the edges and no proud pins good transitions so very happy with that and you get a really attractive uh, grain pattern on this particular side here we'll take a close look at that and then kind of compare and contrast to the back side but Pretty happy with the the wood material. Very similar to a burl wood, not quite as not quite the same, but uh, has that tight grain pattern, and it gets very very smooth when you sand it out. Now, if we look at the back, not quite as colorful as the front. They definitely save the better side for the show side, but the pile size not bad. Just a little less showy. Not quite the green that you have on the other side. But uh, again, smooth transitions to the pins. Through the pins and to the bolsters on either end. Again, nickel silver bolsters, the cap and cap bolster, and your front bolster there, pivot bolster. All feel really good. No... Uh, Decoration on those are just plain, so keep it pretty basic. But I think it looks a it's an overall attractive handle shape. I'm not displeased with the style of gun, uh, trapper. I like the pattern shape. I just have the argument again that we've talked about before that I don't know why old timer calls this a gun stock. It just really does not remind me of a gun stock style trapper. But that's just a name, and they can call it whatever they like. She said I have examples of gun stock, and they don't look like this, but uh, neither here there nor there for me. I just call it a trapper. But of course, with the two tra the trapper, you get the two blades. You can have your main clip point blade and then a spade blade, and this is just your standard style like that. You can see the access to the nail nicks there. One complaint is that uh, the tangs on this one are a little sharp. They need to be rolled over a little bit. You take a little file work to that to make them more comfortable. And they do stick up just a bit there. So any amount that you can kind of just roll that edge a little bit, that would be good. Now let's check the, the blades. Got a pretty attractive clip point blade, Skinner style. Pretty narrow type. Got that nail neck pretty much dead center. And look at the 
grind on this and this is actually pretty well done better than I would say the average old timer maybe just a little bit heavy there at the base but overall not too crazy uh, overly ground like some knives I've seen this side's even better maybe just a little bit heavy at this rounded area here but overall I find this to be quite a bit better than the average old timer so I'm pretty happy with that but nice satin finish on that back side has 94 OTW stamped into the tang and then on the front of the blade you get old timer and then like a date code below that but pretty attractive blade pretty, pretty happy with the grind on that nice hollow grind see if I can kind of get it to light to show you that there we go you can kind of make that out a hollow grind pull on this guy I'd say it's about a six there's no half stop snaps into place pretty good I'll shut up and kind of let you guys assess it yeah again I'd say that's about a six pull on that one and let's get the blade measurements so the length of the blade is just slightly over three inches so you're gonna have to argue with your UK copper about what the actual law is but your cutting edge is legal that's right at two and three quarter inches again that six pull so pretty nice all right let's look at the spade blade and we've got a hollow grind on that guy as well pretty nicely done blade on edge on that it's really pretty darn decent uh, pretty even a little bit heavy maybe on this side not quite as evenly done but not bad again this is between the two blades pretty decent for old timer I've seen some real disasters with the blade grinds but this one's not too bad didn't overdo it so with this trapper blade it's the long style you know guys the follow the channel is not my favorite again slightly over that three inch mark so there's another argument for the copper and just slightly under that uh, two and three quarter inch mark but just barely do have a little bit of a choil there sharpening choil a little weird here at the end a little bit of a smile there they didn't quite get all the way through that but other than that you could probably even that out a little bit if you wanted not too terribly bad now the pull on this one's not quite as good as the main blade I'd say it's more of a five Yeah, there you go. So a little more snap would have been would have been favored for that, but not too terrible. You can you can choke up on this and prevent anything from going wrong. Put your finger right into that choil area there. But again, just kind of sharp there on both of the elbows, and uh, I would roll those over and make it a little more comfortable for use. But as far as trappers are concerned, I think this is a really attractive one very practical you can get this on Amazon for twenty two dollars twenty five cents Smoky Mountain Knife Works twenty three dollars ninety nine cents or the cheapest price I found was Chicago Knife Works twenty one dollars thirty one cents so right in that twenty one to twenty four dollar range very affordable good solid knife well built let's take a look at the back you got the brass liners which I really do adore fan of the brass and stainless uh, contrast and color there I don't like it when it's all just one solid stainless piece so <clears throat> those look really nice I don't see any gapping that looks solid no blade rub the two blades are well separated there's that liner in between you can see that inside nice and clean in there so yeah just a really well made trapper nothing really to complain about other than I just don't really like the larger spade blades but that is definitely just a preference it has nothing to do with the quality of the knife and I think that the wood material looks really good the thing about the desert ironwood is it's native to the Sonoma Desert in Arizona so it's a pretty unique style wood 
and uh, I do enjoy it. Don't see it on just a ton of knives, but uh, it is very similar, I think, to uh, burlwood. Maybe just a little darker in color, a little richer brown than the burlwood that you normally see. Now that's going to depend on the style of burlwood, but again, this is a pretty affordable knife. Really nice handle material. Liking it. So thumbs up on that one. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We're going to see you next time. Take care.